Um, we move on now to the discussion part of the podcast, where we all fall out ah. and uh, beat each other up afterwards and delete each other off Facebook. And this week, it was a bit of a rush topic, really, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, it's not so much our back to basics way forward, which, again, pitchforks are out, you know, everyone's going to kill Already, us. Already, yeah, it's okay debate. now. Um, but it's I more can hear the typing keyboards now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> magic, t- magic Tour 8, where are you? Come out your bushes. Um, <laughs> I've just gone on. I've just gone on Oval Chat and it's on meltdown, and we haven't even started yet. <laughs> really? Oh, I see. No, no. <laughs> oh, well, you haven't. That's all right then. I'm just <laughs> planning ahead. <laughs> I, um, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> the, the discussion. Magic Two Eight is online, so <laughs> <laughs> wait for that one. Um, we'll so wait the co- for the report then. The discussion slash debate this week is: Should bangers be just one class and not m- multiple? And obviously, explain your reasons why. Um, so I'm going to kick things off actually for a change. I think we should have more just the two. I think if we're looking at a Speedworth perspective, of course you have national bangers, which, you know, can be entertaining at times. Um, so I think national bangers have always got to be there for the obvious reasons. And I think you should have just, again, I'm speaking strictly in Speedworth. Um, do away, do away with the domestic bangers. Here come the pitchforks again for that comment. Um, mm-hmm. So do away the domestics and just have back to basics and nationals. That's in Speedworth anyway. And then of course elsewhere you got say at Stan Lake you have street bangers um, and um, yeah keep it like that really. I just seem to think I think three is actually working out quite well because of course you break it up with, with the uh, domestics and back to basics at Speedworth. So you sort of are keeping the back to basic turnouts really consistent. Always getting high turnouts, plenty of action. And some cool cars as well. Um, so I don't know what you guys think on this subject. But, um, um, I'm going to go... I'm gonna say keep all three. Reason being is um, obviously each formula, each category, each class is like a price budget for drivers. So those that can afford it to buy like an XJ6 Jag or a Lexus or a Merc or anything like that, those that can afford it and obviously have the time to build their cars, strip them all out. They do national bangers and unlimiteds. And then you get your rookie drivers that race the Hondas and race um, basically all Hondas or Saferas, which they're trying to take out. Um, obviously, again, they're not getting cheap <laughs> now to, to either buy either. But for those who are running on like a low budget or just happy to race whatever they can get their hands on, and then, you know, there's less car prep, so they've got, you know, more time to build their cars, you've got back to basic bangers. And I think having all three of those uh just keeps the world of banger racing alive if you started taking out things like unlimited bangers or for example as you said matt the uh bangers or the rookie spec bangers as they used to be known at speedsworth for example um it's going to tear drivers apart they're going to think well i don't want to race any old you know machine and obviously those that want to race and obviously progressive bangers stick to that sort of side of bangers so i would say <laughs> keep all three and obviously, it, again, keeps loads of drivers on track because I reckon if you take one formula away, it might start taking drivers out of racing uh, because they obviously can't afford all time to do unlimited bangers. And again, you know, they don't really want to race in back to basics because they obviously want to go out and actually, you know, progress and become champions and things like that. Everyone's got their own perspective on racing. So I'll say stick to all three. That's my opinion. Because, of course... Um... Back in the day, it was just one class, and <clears throat> obviously, mm. where racing's have evolved over the years massively, we found our way with three different classes essentially. So, yeah. Um, so it, it's, it's, it is working really. I think in the, in the perfect world, I'd love national bangers to be not quite as um, as expensive, but oh well, we've got three yeah, classes. No. So I think the three the three classes do it really well, and to, back to basic is a very good entry point and does keep the numbers really up. I think what sort of happened is that Speedworth domestics, especially, have sort of lost a bit of identity because it's basically mm. just it's basically just national bangers, but s- slightly cheaper. And yeah. the rules have become national bangers essentially. I mean, yeah. I mean the, the rules have become yeah. I mean, it, despite the rules saying no followings, there's lots of followings every week. <laughs> and that's exactly. That's exactly what I was going to say. To be fair, I don't actually see us as having three banger classes now. I actually do see it as only having two. You know, we've got the national bangers and we've got back to basics. Because, um, yeah. you know, as as James just rightly said, the domestic bangers, I don't even classify them as domestics anymore. I think they are just more like a 1600cc national banger. 
really. I mean, that's my viewpoint on it anyway. It's almost as if the Nationals have just almost become like to get to the unlimited world final and then everything else underneath is domestics is just yeah. trying to, to get ready to do the unlimited world final. Yeah, I think that's actually what um, Jack Overy said one year. Um, the year after he won the world final, so like when he was um, defending it, Speedworth interviewed him and just sort of said, how's it going and all that. And um, he actually said something along the lines of, you know, to get into the unlimited world final now, you have to do so many just national banger meetings, like micro national bangers, two mm. litres, mm. non Mondeo, big vans and all sorts. But when it comes to the unlimited world final, you don't actually get the best unlimited drivers. You just get like an accumulation of national banger drivers. Mm. So I think that is partly true actually as well to be honest if you look at the if you look at the, the domestic world final this year um unfortunately i couldn't go out a family thing but the domestic world final this year was absolutely incredible from the yeah. video scene and i think what you're seeing is more like you but then if you look at the field it's basically a lot of people that turn out in national bangers yeah. week in, out anyway because yeah. you had the likes of um boxer jack and Scott exactly yeah and you've got yeah yeah but i think what the, uh, the domestic bank is also given is quite a lot of uh back and forth team wars not trying to melt oval chat down again there talking about <laughs> <laughs> but then but, but then like over the last couple of, how much how much drama and excitement has for example dreamers and trim given though <laughs> it's just in domestic bangers because mm. all people can get their teams out regularly in domestic bangers. I just think it's not domestic. It's not rookies anymore, is it? Like the, nah, the word not. rookie, is just, the word rookie just nah. doesn't mean anything anymore. I remember it, when rookies at speed off back in 2005 were more like back to basics, just loads of different types of cars and they weren't quite yeah. as fast and as serious. Because when I look at videos of say, um, like you said, the Ipswich domestic world final, I just see national bangers, um, but obviously 600 CC or whatever they are. So, yeah. but well, final. So I, I, remember remember seeing, I remember in the late 90s seeing an in-car race rookie banger beating where you could still put a cross on the back of your car not to be hit. Could you imagine that now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could uh, go flat out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you'll be the first picked so on. I'm, I'm, well, I'm saying, so I'm saying two classes. Andy's saying three. Well, so what are you all saying then all together? Um, I'm, I'm saying three, but just sort of like... National Bangers is basically the road to the unlimited world final these days. And just sort yeah. of, yeah. I mean, like, I mean, the, the the Micro Madness, actually, if you look at the drivers that come out for Micro Madness, a lot of them are the rookie drivers coming out for that as well. I say rookie again and said not to use that word. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's the domestic drivers making the step up. I think the, I, I think there is room for the domestics because it's a place where a lot we get a lot of really good unlimited drivers come out of it. Yeah. Fair point. Um, I'm going to read through some of the comments now on Oval, um, not Oval Chat, on um, our Facebook page I put up last night. Um, so Sean Burbage says nationals and back to basics to remain. So and he says streets and rookies should go. Again, rookies. We shouldn't say rookies, more domestics. Um, mm-hmm. They are as expensive and as hard as nationals na- these days. Um, keep back to basics mainly for cars that cannot hack it in nationals and front wheel drive unlimiteds. Um, and I got one like that comment. Wayne Davis gets six likes with back to basics as too many races, race engines and other formulas. Get it back to being fun and cheap and no glory over built cars. So I'm guessing he's in mm-hmm. favour of no other class other than back I to think basics. The problem you've got with that is because I was actually thinking about that last night. I saw the comment and um, when I first read it, I thought, yeah, that sounds really good, actually. You know, getting back to that old old school type of banger racing. But, Just old school. You know? Then all of a sudden, people are going to find a car that can easily win in back to basics. Fiestas. So everyone's Fiestas ev- everyone's going ev- everyone's going to go out and buy that car. I mean, <laughs> then they'll get more expensive. I'm a and it's just a vicious again. circle because then, yeah, exactly. You're back to where we are now. So, you know, to be fair, I don't see it as just back to basics because I think Andy made a great point about the money. You know, you've, at the moment, you, you need to keep that division, I feel, within the three classes or two classes or whatever we have. Well, the um, money argument puts in a point where you're more likely to see a really good DD in the lower classes than you are in the unlimiteds because yeah, no one wants to take their unlimited out for a DD unless it's basically dead anyway. Mm. Yeah. We discussed that a long while back about DDs, about are they dying? Yeah. National bangers. Um, national bangers. Yeah, Ryan national Pike I think... get Ryan Pike gets seven likes for a, a, a gif that he put. 
holding the holding the bridge of your nose gif yeah so. yeah so he's thanks for that i'll throw in bryce and got two likes for saying right he is a spice of life so um leave it as it is and support as many meetings as possible um avril jamieson says just back to basics i presume there um Cole Smith I've got nine likes for this one. It's people's attitudes that need to change, not the formulas. So um, it's more of an at- at- attitude thing he's saying then, by the sounds of it. And the legendary Curtis Salvage, number 538, who loves a snapped K10 micro, says, Leave it as it is. Nationals are for people mm-hmm. who can spend money and find some cool cars. Street bangers mm-hmm. are for lads who want a bit of a crash and but don't want to spend hundreds on the car. And back to basics yeah. drivers who don't want to spend a penny. So. Uh, that sums that one up. And I think that's it for the comments, really. So, unless anyone else wants to add to that, that debate. Before we get no. Mobs. No. Before we get Mobs, so we'll close out there.